Well, here we go. All right, so I am on the model row here in Del Webb Nocatee in front of the Stardom. So here's what the front of the house looks like. Notice the three car garage. Yeah, it's just a gorgeous day today. Look at the sky. Wow. So what does it look like where you are? What's the weather today? I always ask that. Throw a comment down below. It's kind of curious. Also too, where are you watching us from? We get people from, oh shoot, this week it's been uh, Arkansas, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Texas have been the uh, folks that have called us. So throw a comment down below. Let us know where you are. It'd be kind of curious. And there you go. So you've got the uh, nice front porch. One of the things too, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, pointed out before, but these homes are built with hardy board. Hardy board is a concrete type product, and in my opinion, I would rather have this than stucco. Um, just my opinion. All right, so let me show you like the dramatic view that you see when you come in. Uh, we'll explore that later. Got your study over here. You could probably convert this to a bedroom if you needed to. But being that this is an active adult community, 55 plus, I don't know if you would need to. Meaning you're not raising children if you're living here. Here you go. Okay, so first things first, you got a half bath right over here. That's awesome because when you're entertaining your friends or you know, whatever, they don't have to go into one of the bedrooms or go too far into the house to use a restroom, it's right there. So let me go ahead and show you. They have a wine fridge, a whole little cocktail area over there. Of course, if you don't drink, you want to do a coffee area. I've seen that done as well. Here we go. Love the kitchen. As I've pointed out in the other videos in this community, not all of Nocatee is, but this community is a gas community. So gas is piped into the community. There is no buried propane tanks here. So that's pretty cool. And when you're, and you've got a nice quartz countertops, of course, if you buy a resale, you kind of get what the previous owner picked but if you purchase a new construction, you get to pick what you want. Really nice view from, you know, you've got your dining area over here. You've got your um, entertainment area. This one, they have a lot of upgrades on, my favorite of which are in the, uh, in the outdoor living area, which I'll show you in a minute. All right, so they did a drop zone. This is very common here. I think if you lived up north, you'd probably have coats and like snowshoes or whatever here. Not in this community, but a lot of people put backpacks, uh, hooks for backpacks. You've got a thing for shoes right here. You could put like your, you know, your dog leash or, you know, whatever it is you need when you're leaving the house. Here's the garage. Nothing exciting, just a normal three car. Oh, well, this one does go in a teeny bit more, which is nice. So I guess if you had like an F-150 or an excursion or something that was bigger, put it over here. And over here, you can put your smaller car. And of course, there's still room for your golf cart. And I do think it's funny because uh, when people move here, so not always, but sometimes, they're like, oh, I'm not getting a golf cart. I'm like, eh, get, get what you want, you know, it's free country. But then I'll see them a few years later at Food Truck Friday or something driving their golf cart, you know, with their college uh, sports team on it, or if they were uh, fellow Marines or something like that, they might have that on it. So, you know, it's just kind of funny, but everybody here seems to get one eventually. All right. So here's the laundry room. Interesting how they decorated it. I don't know if I would do this. I think myself and most people would put cabinets over here, maybe a sink, um, definitely a countertop so you can fold laundry. But it's a huge laundry room. Oh, never mind. You got a sink over here. Didn't notice that somehow. All right. You've already got the cabinets there. All my other videos will talk about it, so I'm not going to spend too much time. But this is the smart hub, which is where all of your internet cool stuff goes. There we go. Let's keep walking. All right, here we go. Welcome to the owner's retreat. Like all of their homes that I've seen, Pulte does a great job of bringing in the natural light. They've got these really large windows that allow, in this home, they allow you to look out at the pool and the water and such. But even if you're just on a preserve, didn't have all of that, there's still a lot of nitrile light coming in, which is great. And that is a king size bed, give you an idea. 
Got your two sinks, quartz countertops looks like. Tile floor. You go. One thing I would do differently, if it's just me, if you don't agree, that's fine. I would take this and put it down more, reason being, in the off chance somebody did come into your bedroom, like company or something like that. You know, they can't see all your soaps and shampoos, you know, stuff like that. It's further down, out of sight. So that's just my preference, so, but cool. All right, so you got your water closet in here, which is a fancy way of saying where the toilet is. I'm not gonna show you that, because wherever you are, I'm sure you know what those look like. Really nice walk-in closet. This is pretty much how it comes from the builder, meaning with the wire shelving. But afterwards, if you wanted to get like California closets or something like that, you could definitely do so. And this one, one of the cool things with this home is it has two master bedrooms. Well, you can kind of say that has its own ensuite. So this one's not as big and grand as the last one we just came from, but that's the quartz in both bathrooms. But it's still nice. All right, and then here's your closet. Nope, there we go, not too much space behind that. So now let's go to my favorite part. All right, a couple of things I want to explain while we're out here. Number one, in some of my other videos, I point to the gas hub and I mention that you can um, hook up a summer kitchen. This one has a summer kitchen, so let me show it to you. So there's a gas hub behind the wall over here, obviously, you've got an electrical outlet, plumbing. So you've got a fridge, you've got a grill, and you've got a little sink. So if you're into grilling, outdoor cooking, and who wouldn't be on a day like today, this home is set up for it. I would also suggest screening this in and then replacing one or two of those with a ceiling fan with a light kit. Also, you might wonder what this is. This is so you can, and you see it on the other side too, you can open up all these sliders and you can hide them in these two little areas. So that way when you open all this up from the inside, you don't see uh, the sliding glass doors. And then here is my favorite part. Check this out. Now, not all the homes in this community uh, come on a lake. You can get some of them back up to other houses, some of them back up the preserve, some of them back up to, it's a lake. I mean, it's, it's not like the Great Lakes in Michigan by any stretch. They're actually retention ponds. Uh, they put them in when they develop this area. So give the rain a place to go. And at the moment, no alligators. Yeah, it's funny, people keep asking me about alligators when they move here and I keep seeing the stuff on Facebook. I, I'm a native Floridian, I've lived here all 47 years of my life. When I was younger, I used to go outdoors a lot, you know, fishing and that kind of thing. Never had a problem with one before. So generally rule of thumb is don't do anything stupid and they will not bother you. I.e. one time when I was in the Everglades National Park, I was watching tourists uh, taunting a mother alligator with its babies. I got up and I left. I didn't want to see what was coming next, but, um, but yeah, now the one concern that you could have is if you have small dogs. So yeah, then you're definitely gonna wanna have up a fence, or dogs in general. You're definitely gonna wanna have a fence and kind of keep a barrier between them and your pets, that's for sure. But cool. All right. And then what's neat too is these, I can't figure out how to turn them on. Uh, none of the sales staff is here today. But all of these are uh, gas, like fire pits basically. And over here, is a sun shelf. So basically what happens is if you wanna get in the water but not get in the water, you can just kinda of put your little chair on there and just kinda of sit there. But it looks really dramatic when I'm in homes and you have, um, you know, the kinda of like the little fire pits over here going. I was showing a home over in Antum Ridge, which is uh, real close to here. And when you walked in, it was opened up and they had, you know, like the fire things going. I, I felt like I was on Mount Vesuvius that is really cool. But anyway, cool, there you go. So that, yeah, that is the wrap. What do you think? 
uh, any interest in this home, uh, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, good or bad, that's fine. Also, if you wanna learn more about Nocatee, check out this playlist. Uh, we have videos on just about anything you could imagine Nocatee related. If you wanna see where the shopping is, you wanna see where the grocery store is, what does it look like inside, you know, all that kind of stuff, we have it there for you. Or if you want to see more model home tours like this one, then click on the other playlist because this one has nothing but model home tours, just like this. Model homes in really nice homes that are for sale and we tour them. That's who ends up in that playlist. So check both of those out. And yeah, my name is Andrew Michael. I appreciate your time and I look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.